News 12's Amy Jensen explains many of the 41 year old man's neighbors say the shooting should have never happened. It was at this blue house behind me where 41 year old Eric Keith Tompkins was shot by an Ardmore police officer. That shooting has caused major controversy in this neighborhood. I pray that that justice will be done for Eric and his family. Clara Matthews lives across the street and says Tompkins was a good man. Please tell me why did not just mace him instead of shoot him. It all started Sunday morning just before 10 when Tompkins mother called police worried her son was going to kill himself. Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation Public Information Officer Jessica Brown says Tompkins refused several commands to take his hands out of his pockets and when he finally did. From what we have been told by uh, witnesses pulled something out of his uh, pocket which appeared to be a, uh, a gun and that's when the officer fired. Brown won't say what Tompkins pulled out of his pocket until the investigation is complete. But she did say Tompkins took a large amount of rat poison before police arrived. Sometimes officers have to shoot somebody. Sometimes that's part of their job. It's not something that they want to do, I'm sure. Within hours of the death, the Facebook page Justice for Eric Tompkins was created. And by the next day, it had over 200 likes. Many saying police should have used their tasers and Tompkins would have never hurt anyone. Court records show a troubled past, including a conviction for assault and battery, along with arrests for DUI and public intoxication. Tanya Berry lives around the corner and is saddened by her neighbor's death, but says police officers deserve to go home too. They have to do their job. They have to protect us guys, and that's what it's all about is protecting us. The Ardmore police officer has been put on administrative leave until the investigation is complete. In Ardmore, Amy Jensen, News 12.